Pooh. Winnie the Pooh just is. He's the classic I am. He's a perfect manifestation of God. Because Winnie the Pooh doesn't try to be anybody else. He doesn't think too much about what he is and isn't doing. He just is Winnie the Pooh as he is. And this is a perfect, the greatest service you can give, and remember God is within service, is to be yourself. Man, know thyself. Because as we purify ourselves and we change and we come to know who we are and our soul connects and the intuition flows and we, our life starts to take a path in a direction that it's meant to, what we find is without even meaning to, we spark that same in others. Because when you are your true self, you give other people permission to be who they are, and there's no greater gift that you give another person than permission to be all that they are, be loved unconditionally and accepted unconditionally as they are. And this is what The Course in Miracles is really all about. It's the truth. It's seeing the truth of that person. So when I see my ex-husband as his soul, not as his annoying personality self, in those moments, that is my freedom and his. That is my growth and, and connection with unity. And it cannot help but do the same for him. That is my gift and mine to him. When I see his soul, not always easy to do because my ego will go, <laughs> but I see it. Okay, ego, shut up. I know he's a pain. I know this is his way of seeing the world and it's different to mine, that's okay. Do you know what I mean? Now those moments, don't get me wrong, I struggle with them as well. But if you understand, if you can see what's going on, that is the key and that's where your intuition. Developing your intu intuition enables you to sound your soul note. So if we are this huge symphony, if life is just one big symphony, if it's God singing, and you sound your soul note, we start getting this amazing harmony. And you know yourself, if you've ever sung with people and you hit the harmony, oh boy, the vibration is amazing, isn't it? You just feel in tune, and you are. You're not this kind of note that's out of tune with everybody else and everything and yourself. You're feeling the harmony and the peace and the clarity. And there's a lot of talk about, um, oh, in more esoteric terms, about world servers. People who are holding a vision of where humanity is going, if you like. People who have enough soul contact who are helping others to, to have soul contact as well. And they talk about a group of world servers on the planet being like the throat chakra, the the speaking the, the tr of the truth and when you sound your own soul note you join with this if we we're esoterically supposed to be the our planet is the throat chakra of a greater um, we start to sing our truth we start to sing our song as a planet as humanity as a united um, one um, for those of you who know this about the invocation I just want to finish, um, there's a quote, every time a Buddha made, nature rejoices. So every time you step into your Buddhic nature, remember on the triangle, the Buddha, your higher self, all of nature rejoices. Because every time you do that, you raise the whole level of consciousness of all of mankind. And that is your greatest service. That's what we're here to do. So this is why developing your intuition is so important. Why not only will it transform your life, but it transforms the life of everyone around you, and it is your service to mankind. Um, so I hope that I have given you enough reason to start to listen, to maybe go into the silence and just connect that inner tuition, to start to make some decisions from that place. Still value your intellectual mind,
But when you are uncertain, or it is a big decision, or it, it, to, to trust the heart, to bring it together with the mind and take them forward, and just be prepared to, to do things a little bit differently. Um, because that's when the miracles and the magic happens. And that's me. I've got some handouts. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I've got a picture of that diagram if you want it. Some of you I know have got it. I've also got an article here that I wrote on meditation and intuition. And there's an article there that just sums up some of those ideas from A Course in Miracles. Um, I think on the back of these, or somewhere on these, is my website if you want. There's some other stuff written on there if you want to go and have a look. Um, do you teach yoga as well? I teach yoga, yes. Where do you do that? In Chester. I know, I know. Yeah, I teach yoga and meditation. Um, yeah, we, we meditate at Chester Lodge on the third, third Wednesday of the month. Um, there's a good number of people come, actually. But yeah, in, uh, in the sense that's what I do. Is it morning? Yeah. No, in the evening, on a Wednesday. Yeah, so instead of, so we have two meetings a month, and on the one in between we do meditation. Mm -hmm. 